Hello, everybody. Robin Kim Skinner back with you on day three, which means a huge congratulations are in order for these folks because they made it through day two. These days have been a little bit light, and day three is where a massive amount of progress can be made if you're diligent and if you will reach down deep inside. Um, and this, out of all the steps, I said this the other day that it was an important step, but this step is the one that that actually I, I, I use to move myself uh, monumentally. Um, there is a little section in there that that I feel is a little dicey. Kim Kim likes it because it's uh, she kind of makes fun of me and my my uh, my witness to country music and my old red neckedness. Uh, but she makes a comment in there because we don't want you guys to get so stuck on anything that's politically correct or anything like that. We want you to really be yourself. This is for you. Nobody's judging you on it. Nobody's going to you know publish this. This is for you. So we want you to be real and we don't want you to use any excuses. So we flesh those out, but you might want to talk about that little statement in there a little bit. Well, in the section that we've titled our, your country music tale of woe, because we are going to go back into history and really uh, attach some, some forward motion to some things that can keep us stuck. I use the phrase, I was born a poor black child. And so that gets a little upsetting for Rob, who was clearly not born a poor black child. And he wants to be sure that everybody's clear. We're not making fun of anyone. Well, because you I were born a poor black child. She was born a poor black child. <laughs> we just don't want anybody to take offense to it. That's all. This isn't what this is about. And we want to remove any skeletons, any um, any hurdles that you have that you're having a hard time sweeping off and we just want you to be open you know we love everybody we don't care what your skin color is we don't care what your sexual preference is we don't care about any of that all we care about is where you're at today where you're going tomorrow and can we help and that's all we care so again in this one this is where you really want to take some time and do it exactly like it says and if it takes more time just take more time this is going to change your life this is um literally um, my place of peace, when I was first given this exercise, I'm a grown man, I own car dealerships, I was in the middle of a field behind somebody else's car dealership that was failing and asked me to come down and fix it, and uh, I, was, I was doing this exercise, and you remember that day, because I think I called you right afterwards, um, when I dug into how deep some of this stuff was, I was on my knees crying in the middle of a field, in a suit, in a, in a weird place, strange place, and uh, it was moving to me. It changed my life. And the whole thought of what my family, and particularly in this case, it was my son, what he would think about me if I was a rotten dad and, and I didn't hit my goals. And uh, there's a section in there we call anti-why, and we want you to just reflect on that for a second. But really take your time. Do this exercise right. And uh, I can promise you this. If you do this exercise right and do what we tell you, this alone will change your life. Uh, this alone is worth the price of admission to, to anything you want to see. So, again, you know, it's much to do about the journey, and we are so grateful we're on it with you. All right. Bye-bye, guys.